Hey everybody, welcome to Lesson 37, and today we're going to be talking about the origins of Islam, and specifically the religion of Islam. And to start that off, I want you to look at this picture right here, which will be in your Google Forms, and I want you to tell me what is this image depicting or showing? How can you tell and give me evidence? Come back once you're done. Yeah, if we notice, this picture is an incredible picture. We're noticing actually, like, it looks kind of like, um, you know, uh, it's almost like a sea of white, but you can definitely tell that there are, are differences or in between. And those are, yes, people. Uh, and they are surrounding um, this black cube right here, which is known as the Kaaba. And this is one of the most holy and sacred sites in all of the world for Islamic followers, uh, particularly in the um, in the city of Mecca. So what we're going to do is we're going to watch a time-lapse video, and it's just a noticing that I want you to do. And a time-lapse video is when a camera has been going on for hours, and uh, afterwards they speed up the footage. And I just want you to see the motions of this pilgrimage or trip uh, to this holy and sacred site. And uh, after you're noticing, come back and we'll start again. Yeah, so the incredible thing about this time lapse and this picture as well, in which we did the do now, and um, this is really just one example of how ritual is so important in the religion of Islam. And not only that, it's that these rituals are extremely colorful in the sense that they are extremely communal, that there are thousands and thousands of people that join in into some of these rituals, uh, especially this particular one, shows how important and how vast the religion of Islam is in our world today. And today we're going to be talking about the origins and the core beliefs of the Islamic religion. And it's an extremely important religion to learn because it is the second largest um, religion in all of the world. And it is an extremely widespread religion, meaning that it is on almost every single continent with the exception of Antarctica. Although I do believe, I already know that there have been uh, Islamic uh, practitioners on Antarctica before. Um, but, but with this just being said, it is an extremely fascinating and important religion to learn. Um, and we're going to get started with it. So Islam, what is the definition of Islam? Uh, for some of us, you know, I, I'd, I'd be surprised actually if, if some of us have not heard of the um, religion Islam, uh, because, uh, again, we are in an international school that is one of the most incredible assets that we have as students that we learn from each other. Uh, and I know that we have, um, students of all different religions throughout our school. But if you haven't heard of Islam, Islam is the religious faith of, um, Muslims that are based on the words and religious system founded by the Prophet Muhammad. Now, Muhammad specifically, what we're going to do is we're going to learn a little bit about the origin story in your assignment. Um, but followers of Islam believe in one God, and the name for that God is Allah. Now, the most important thing to, again, realize is that all the Abrahamic faiths believe in the same exact God. So, the same God that we learned that from the last lesson that Jesus was talking about, same God in Islam. The God that we heard uh, Moses talking about in Judaism, same God in Islam. Now, the difference, though, is, is the idea of this sense of who is the representative of God on earth. Now, um, the interesting thing about Islam is, and this is a connection we're making with our other lessons, right? Uh, in Islam, uh, somebody like Jesus, who we just learned about in the past two lessons, is a a holy person that has helped promote um, the word of God throughout the world. But for Islam, they don't believe, different than uh, Christianity, 
don't believe that Jesus was the Messiah or the representative of God upon the earth. They do believe that that was Muhammad. And we're going to, again, learn a little bit about Muhammad um, through, actually, our lessons. Uh, a little bit today in regards to the origin story uh, of Islam. Uh, but more importantly, uh, when we talk about the five pillars of faith, um, the preachings and the teachings of Muhammad in, in general as well, um, throughout the different course lessons throughout the week. What we're going to do, uh, using the same resources that we had used for uh, Christianity and also Judaism, we're going to watch an introduction on Islam in general, which really is a broad overview as to what the religion uh, believes. Um, there'll be some facts that are along the way and questions along with it. So, for example, you'll see that there is a reading right over here. I want you to read it and annotate it, right? So let's just say that this is where I want to annotate, right? I'll use my highlighter tool. And then I'll go over here where the question is, why are Muslims, Christians, and Jews considered Abrahamic religions, right? And I need to identify where this specifically answer is. And I'm going to come in here where I've, I've already given you kind of space to be able to write. I'm going to change the font. I'm going to actually make it into red. And then Muslim, Muslims, Christians, and Jews consider are considered, by the way, are considered Abrahamic religions because, and then I answer the question, okay? That's what I want you to do for the assignment. It needs to be in full sentences, and it needs to be uh, obtained from the reading itself, okay? So we're going to watch the video, right, first. Then we're going to actually read and then answer the questions right over here. Okay. And then in addition, we'll go down and we'll learn a little bit about who is the founder and the major figures, right? This is a little excerpt about Muhammad, right? In addition to Prophet Muhammad, who is the other important prophets within Islam, uh, the Quran, uh, what is the Quran, um, and the symbol actually for, for Islam as well. Um, talking about monotheism and main beliefs and practices and beliefs. Now, this is a two-day lesson, so this should be plenty of time for you to be able to do this and do this well, okay? All right, thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one. Bye.